It was still and quiet in the chamber. No more goblins. No more monsters. Just silence. The beautiful man-made carvings giving way to the natural forest and its magic. Here was the uneasy place where the world joined. It was as if the gods knew one day there would be a just cause for a mortal to travel beyond this place. Ardmar felt at home here. He had spent his life torn between the worlds in his own head and the world of Vikings. This was a place of compromise. Maybe his people could learn from this. Maybe they would no longer destroy and take. Maybe he could truly save them. Not just from death, but from themselves. Loki emerged in front of the gate and said, Are you here to join your friends, Viking? <laughs> you know, I could use someone like you in my army. I will never join you! Odmar cried out as he charged towards Loki. He was ready to fight. Do you even think your people want to be saved by you? said Loki with a mocking smile. They will march in the army of the God of Chaos. They will be known as the ones who broke down the gates of Valhalla. No more lies, Ardmar bellowed. He would not be manipulated. I have never told you a lie, said Loki confidently. I'm simply predicting your future.
Godma had done it. But he did not know what waited for him behind that door. He would soon find out. His villagers looked broken and lost of all hope. They were astonished at the sight of Odmar. They had misjudged him. They had not believed in him. But they would never doubt him again. Vaskar, said Odmar as he embraced his old friend. Your curse has been lifted. I barely recognize you. Aye, said Vaskar. Now with Loki defeated, the fairies regained her strength. The fairy came forth and said, You have done well, Odmar. Take this. It shall lift your curse. Consider it a thank you gift from the forest. Balance and order had been restored. Odmar was no longer cursed. As he regained his strength, he realized that for the first time in his life, he believed in himself. In front of the gates of Valhalla, he looked up in awe, wondering if his parents were proud of him. Otmar was not ready to meet them, not just yet, but he'd hoped he'd earned a place by their side. He had become a true Viking.